We need new leaders. We need better leaders, stronger leaders. When I saw this, what's happening, I, I said, I have to do something about this. If he was not here and did what he did those years, I wouldn't be here today. There's a good group of people here that are very much determined to restore Canada's democracy. Is it time to reclaim Canada? Protesters gathering in front of Victoria, BC's Legister building think so. In fact, there is a two-day conference taking place. A Rebel News has traveled to Victoria to bring you the ins and outs about that. So this is part one of that. It kicks off with this rally here. We'll let you know everything else at rebelnews.com. And if you appreciate that Rebel News gets their boots on the ground to bring you important coverage like like this, you can help support our ability to do so by donating at rebelfieldreports.com. Now let's get to the rally. So you made it all the way to Victoria, just came from brunch. Why was it important to be here today? I, I wanted to support the Unify movement. I think it's very, very important for the freedom movement to come together and ensure that we're competitive in the next, that we're represented inside the Conservative Party of Canada and that we help it form the next government. A lot of Canadians are counting on us to reach out to them as well. So I welcome you on our journey to restore dignity to all Canadians everywhere. This is Jason Jones. Now you came to this event, but you also have this really interesting story. For the last few years, you've been bringing a paper John McDonald uh, cutout to City Hall. Tell us why. Uh, yes, because our mayor, Lisa Helps, took him down in middle cloak of night without giving the residents or the population any indication it was happening. And so... I took it upon myself to put him back for Canada Day every year since. And so how did that go? Like, how do people perceive you bringing him back even though the mayor wanted him out? I had overwhelming support. I had support from UVic professors. I had support from every walk of life. I had support from the, the, the First Nations. Uh, they were all in support saying, yes, if he was not here and did what he did those years, I wouldn't be here today, is what I heard a lot. And so I did it again the second year. Now, a lot of people here at the rally are wanting to reclaim Canada. Yeah. Why do you think that's important? And what do you think the best way to do so is? The best way is through grassroots, because we can't remove them. So best is just to push them out of the way, with starting from, the, from your local and then go provincial. I would suggest Canada is experiencing an existential crisis. And if we don't stand up and reclaim this country, we're in big trouble. Our children and our grandchildren are in big trouble. Our lives on this planet are too short and the work to be done too great to let this spirit flourish any longer in our land. All right, now tell us why it was important for you to be here today to fight for freedom and to stand up for my kids and uh, peace, love, and unity. And yourself? For me, I believe freedom is a contested terrain that always has to be fought because it is always up for grabs. And uh, I believe that contested terrain is the terrain that is uh, negotiated and fought between those who rule and those who are ruled over. And uh, that terrain is always going to have to be fought for because there's a constant tug of war between the two. So now, that's why I'm here. Nice. Now the theme of, of today or this weekend is to reclaim Canada. What do you think needs to happen for that to take place? We definitely need change in uh, po po policies and uh, political. We need new leaders. We need better leaders, stronger leaders. Um, and we just need an all around change for, for everything. Do you have a favorite when it comes to the conservative leadership race? Um, I do like Pierre, but uh, it's still up in the air. I'm still uh, I'm still shopping. <laughs> and how about yourself? Do you want to weigh in on the conservative leadership race? Me, I'm going to say Pierre as well. But I have to admit, my heart's with Bernie. <laughs> I mean, the information that's out there for someone who's, who cares to look is just overwhelming. Our liberty and equality with no discrimination. 
like it says on the back of the $10 bill from the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. We're all equal under the law and deserve its benefits. All right, this is Tom, bumped into him at the protest here, but you and I have talked online. The first question I'm going to ask you is, you know, why it was important for you to be here at this, but then you can touch on your sort of history, or maybe it's connected. So why come to the so protest for Reclaiming Canada? Actually, it is connected. Um, I, I, find, uh, I find it very troublesome the way our government is taking away our freedoms something my parents have experienced during the war we lived in Czech of Slovakia then which is a Czech Republic now and we experience I personally experienced the oppression of the by the communist system and and my parents experienced it by the fascists then I was also growing up I was 18 when we came to Canada that was communist system. And so when I saw this, you know, when I saw this, what's happening, I I said, I have to do something about this. Uh, and uh, so, so I decided to get involved. We know now, we have it proven to us in space that we cannot trust that system, which does not come through parliament, but which is done by the prime minister and the minister of justice. So are we going to wait for these lazy, incompetent politicians to fix our problems for us? No. Or are we going to create our own solutions? Yes. I vote for creating our own solutions. Yes. And it will be all your friends and family across this nation that will reclaim Canada. Well, as you can see from some of the clips you saw in this report, it was an impressive lineup today. And there's going to be many reports to follow about what took place in Victoria between May 28th and 29th for those who are looking to reclaim Canada. So you can check out those full reports at rebelnews.com. I'm Drea Humphrey, and this is Rebel News. If you appreciate that Rebel News is covering this two-day event in Victoria for you, you should know we took the ferry, we took modest accommodations an hour away from the, where the action is happening to make sure that it was affordable. But none of that is possible without your donations. So if you want to chip in to help us cover the cost for these reports, as well as the next ones like them, please go to rebelfieldreports.com or you can go to our store at rebelnewsstore.com pick out some fun rebel gear or even a Father's Day gift as we have a line specific just for that. Thank you for your support.